Hello. This brief message may be of special interest to you if you have sacroiliac joint dysfunction and are feeling a bit desperate to get out of pain. My name is Lawrence Gold and I am a past sufferer of sacroiliac joint dysfunction and a practitioner in the field of clinical somatic education which is a discipline dedicated to extinguishing chronic pain, musculoskeletal pain from injuries in many cases. If you have two or more of the following symptoms, then this message is reason for you to feel encouraged. Here are symptoms that I had when I was in the thick of sacroiliac joint dysfunction. It started rather suddenly late one afternoon, just after I had finished delivering a training in somatic education exercises. Everybody had gone, I had cleared the room, and I'd gotten down on the floor to do some refreshing movements. In the midst of one of the movements, there was a sudden zing or twang-like feeling at my low back, and then the lightning bolt like searing sensations through my abdomen began. Those symptoms developed over time to include numbness down the front and side of my right thigh, groin pain, pain at the low back on one side, a seizing up of all the muscles at the low back at the top of the pelvis, which is where the sacrum is, sciatica-like symptoms down my right leg, pain in the ribs, a feeling like a tight wire going down my spine into my pelvis that prevented me from bending forward freely as I would in putting on socks, also preventing me from straightening up completely. My pelvis felt like it had been spread open in the front and jammed closed in the back. Those are not all the symptoms I had, but they're all that come to mind at the moment and you get the idea. If you have two or more of these, very likely you have a twisted sacrum and your way out of the pain is to do what it takes to straighten the sacrum. Now, I'm going to go through some of the typical approaches to treating the condition some of which you may be familiar with, and then I'm going to introduce what I did for myself to dissolve those symptoms, to extinguish the pain, to put myself back together again, and to end up in better shape than I was before the injury occurred. So, typical approaches to sacroiliac joint dysfunction. Nerve ablation, also known as RFA. RF stands for radio frequency. It's a way of frying the sensory nerve that reports the trouble at the sacrum. It gives relief from what I've read somewhere between 9 and 12 months, although I've been reading that 6 months is the experience of some people. That approach costs around $2,000. Then there's sacroiliac joint fusion surgical procedure. That procedure involves immobilizing one of the sacroiliac joints, which of course distorts the movements of walking and the weight support stresses so that they don't go up the spine in a centered way. They go off-centered. And that off-centered condition produces physical side effects of its own, various forms of pain surface, over time, and the person still remains in somewhat of a delicate condition. They don't have their full support, their full integrity back as a result. Then there's TENS, T-E-N-S, that's transcutaneous electrical stimulation. And what that does is it creates a distraction in the nervous system so that pain often decreases. It does nothing, obviously, to correct the situation 
some people have used it repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly in order to keep themselves more comfortable than they would otherwise be. Then there's cortisone. Cortisone is a complete non-solution. <clears throat> the function of cortisone is to reduce inflammation. It has the effect of causing connective tissue to unravel. It doesn't do anything to correct the position of the sacrum. Then there are the usual pain medications, generally only partially effective chiropractic adjustments, osteopathic adjustments, various forms of body work, none of which work particularly well because the sacrum, even if adjusted, it keeps returning to its twisted position put there by the weight-bearing forces that go through the person as a result of distorted muscular pulls triggered by the original injury that caused the sacrum to become twisted. So we have generally, and it's a single class, manipulative therapies. Manipulation doesn't work very well, if at all, simply because the sacrum is kept in its twisted position by distorted weight-bearing forces that go with distorted or asymmetrical muscle pulls. Now I'll tell you what I did for myself. I developed a series of corrective exercises. These corrective exercises came out of my own internal exploration of what it would take to cause my sacrum to center. And the principle is this. If you normalize or balance the right-left symmetry of muscular activity, say in sitting, standing, and walking, that symmetry induces the pelvis to become more symmetrical and the sacrum to straighten. That was my game plan, and it worked. It took about two years to develop exercises that worked well enough that my pain disappeared. I came to understand the condition very well, at which point I published those exercises freely online on the blog Full Spectrum Somatics. Somatics is the name of the field in which I practice. The exercises themselves I had recorded on video. The exercises were still somewhat in their rough form, taking longer than needed and involving extra or excessive effort in comparison to how I developed the program when I published it. However, I published it at that time because I know how horrible it is to have this condition and it was an act of mercy to people who were desperate for help who had been contacting me. I started getting email messages from people saying that they were feeling better, that the exercises were having the intended result, and one day it occurred to me to create a questionnaire to find out percentages, how many people were being helped by percentage and to what degree. Here were the results. 96% of the people who had worked with the unrefined version of the program either got partial improvement, were continuing to get improvement, or had experienced a complete disappearance of the symptoms. 6% didn't get any better, but they also didn't get any worse. So in due course, as I refined the exercises further, and I refined the look of the videos for my aesthetic tastes, I published a program. The program I published is Comforting Your SI Joints. So, if you've had more than enough of treatment approaches that don't work, work only temporarily, or work only partially, you may wish to avail yourself of this program, Comforting Your SI Joints, which comes with a no time limit refund guarantee of satisfaction. Visit the link below, review the description of that program, and make the investment in your own comfort and fitness. I'm Lawrence Gold.
I invite your comments, your questions, and your feedback.